Um, I mean, no, I'm not a Catholic. I, I wouldn't say I'm even a, 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 a devout Christian, although I, I suppose you could say I'm sat on the fence. Uh, <laughs> but when you see this, uh, you some, somehow... What is it? Black and white. It's white, isn't it? White. That's white well, smoke. White. There we have the smoke from the Sistine Chapel, and you can hear from the roars of the crowd in the Piazza of St Peter's that it's white. It's unequivocally white. Alistair Bruce. No doubt at all, the decision has been made. The Cardinals have spent their time in prayer and thought, and they have chosen St Peter's successor here in Rome. Let's listen to these thousands of people who've travelled from different parts of the world to be here today to witness this extraordinary event. The bell is just starting to ring now, which will confirm the decision that's been made. You can hear it ringing over the crowd. Austin, you called this right. Well, two minutes before the smoke came, you said, we're waiting a long time now. Austin. I, I was thinking this could be white because we're back on schedule. Earlier today, we got the smoke earlier than expected, and now it wasn't. And I was thinking the only explanation for that would be they have just elected the Pope, and he, of course, has oh. had to take time to say yes. You know, you, we can't, have you, a Pope. you can't see it from here, but... We're looking at literally thousands of people who are moving as one towards the front of the piazza of St Peter's. It's an absolutely extraordinary sight. I, I love that roar. I think it's just a wonderful sound. And what's more, we can hear Campanoni, the great bell there, which I was mentioning before, bellowing out that a pope has now been chosen.